No le gusta porque todavía no sale. Ahorita están dando lo del pasado. Qué bien. Hello, Diana. How was your day? Diana, you're on mute. Hello? Yes, now I can hear you. I'm sorry? Yes, now I can hear you. Oh, okay, okay. But you didn't hear me at all. No, 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 I didn't hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, so my day was okay? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, okay. And what did you do today, Diana? I reviewed a few documents with my boss and I realized a procedure with her. It was moved, but in a good way. Okay. And a procedure like what? What, what do you do? It was... Uh, for creating a checklist for to review the the products that come in into the into the company. Okay. Okay. Good. So the first thing, welcome back, everyone. Thank you for joining us. The first thing we're going to do is like me and Diana. You're going to take a moment. And just take a moment and discuss your day. What happened? Is normal? Not normal? What did you do? Things like this. And then we're going to practice 
making some questions in indirect form and reviewing a little bit for your presentation, okay? Do you remember just today you have a presentation for speaking problem and solutions for 30 seconds? Yes? So, so, no? Yes. Yes? Vane, Eric, Lisette, Angelica? Yes, teacher. Eric, you okay? Yes, it's you. Okay, all right, making sure. Good, okay. So first, let's talk to our partners about our day, number one. Number two is we have the opportunity to practice our presentation, and then we are going to present. Remember, it's necessary to be 30 seconds, okay? So let's have just a few minutes. Hold on. And then we try. Hello, Kevin, how are you? Kevin, how was your day? I'm fine, thank you. Good, thank you. What did you do today, Kevin? Mm, today or oh, right now? No, today. What did you do today? Uh, I go in my job and uh, at five, uh, what is Seven a.m. I leave at uh, five p.m. and then ah, uh, I don't know if you like that. I can't hear you clearly, Kevin. And then what? Yes, so so. Se te escucha oh, cortado. Okay. Ajá. Sí, igual yo, yo no lo estaba escuchando. Eh, la pregunta, ¿qué tipo de pregunta? Ok, so remember Kevin, when you talk about your day, is you need to use the past tense. I left, I went, I, in the past. Oh, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, yes, yes. Eh, I went, ah. Uh, uh, what am I doing? I go, I went in the afternoon at the church. To church? And, yes. Okay. And then I uh, ate my dinner. Ah, excellent. Excellent. This is very good, Kevin. And Kevin, mm -hmm. did you prepare your presentation for 30 seconds? Describe the problem and the solution. The people in the <clears throat> the people is too poor in the Salvador. The solution is the government should be 
more opportunity and jobs. También the people will be more interfacing. More? Creo que interfacing sería sería emprendedor. Ah, entrepreneurs. Ah, sorry. Entrepreneurs. Sí. Yo, mm -hmm. yo, yo lo encontré como entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Ok. Esto sería. Ok. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. Kevin. Ah, thank you. Sí. Ok. Ajá, uh -huh, Kevin. What else? What else is. What else is the solution? Era 30 segundos, Kevin. No era una, una oración. 30 seconds. Ready? Oh, okay. Okay, Kevin. Again, here's the timer. Okay. Okay. Problem solutions. You ready? Yes. Okay. Kevin, you are number one. And then Marlon. And then after Marlon, we have Diana, Eric, Lisette, Angelica, and Vanessa. Okay, Kevin, you ready? Okay. Okay, go. Yes. Yeah. The people who support in the server, the solution is the government to, to create more opportunities in the job. Uh, the government to be a uh, more companies for the people get the job in this company and the people good kevin be... that's 30 seconds nice job okay Excellent. okay Oof. good remember we need to practice <laughs> excellent excellent we need to practice more our pronunciation and the fluency pronunciation and fluency but it's good. Okay. It's good practice. All right, Kevin. Okay. All right. The next one. Who is the next? It was Marlon, right? Eric. Ah, Eric. Okay. The next is Eric. All right, Eric. Problem and solution. Right. 30 seconds. You ready? Okay. Okay. Uh, problem is the malfunction of soccer at a professional level and national teams. To solve this great problem, it's necessary to serve a great government police and independence that is in charge of monitoring, advising, and regulating all the institutions that are related to soccer in El Salvador. She will also be in charge of recruiting talent nationwide it must provide condition for young people to, the, to be trained in integral weight. All right. The Very institution good, must have professional who allow the development. Very good, Eric. Okay. It's nice. It's nice. But remember, the next time, try no reading. Try speaking. No reading. The idea is to improve. But it's good pronunciation. That's good, Eric. Good job. Eric, select the next person. Vanessa Ramirez. Vanessa Ramirez. All right, Vanessa, 30 seconds. You ready? Problem and solutions. Okay. Go. In, in my pop, my problem is in my city, yes. Mm, the gasoline is very expensive. Wait, Vanessa, ya pasaste 10 segundos solo para decir <laughs> problema. No, 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 okay. no. Again, ready, Vanessa? Okay, okay. Okay, ready? Go. Uh, the problem is the gasoline is very expensive. The solution is by by bicycles. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Hi, right, Vanessa, not prepared, huh? <laughs> No hiciste la tarea, no preparamos, Vane. Mm. 
Sí. Ajá, vale, ajá. Y si fuera un cliente listo para comprar esas bicicletas, ¿cómo quedaría? Sin venta. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Vane. Yeah. It's okay. Try to prepare for tomorrow. Vane, select the next person. Okay, Marlon Barrientos. Okay, Marlon. Are you ready, Marlon? Yes. Okay, go. Um, the problem is the insecurity and the crime in El Salvador. The solution is that the government uh, implement security measures and the policies do their their job and the government uh, gets international help to fight the crime only hmm. so so good good but it's okay it's okay marlon all right all right marlon who's next marlon Uh, Let's go, Marlon. It's not 30 seconds for the decision. Vane Carranza. Okay, there we go. Vane Carranza. Okay, Vane. 30 seconds. Problem and solutions. Go. Vane? Sorry, teacher. Voy entrando. Ah, okay, okay. No problem, no problem. So, Vane, okay. Vane, remember, problem and solution, the homework from yesterday. Are you ready? Presentation. Yes. Okay. Okay. Go, Vane. Good evening. My presentation okay. deals with the problems of garbage in the drain or the strip of curb country. Um, one of the main causes in the lack of interest in, in the people throwing garbage when they, they use public transportation or uh, even in their vehicle, sorry, even in their cars and is reflected in the rainy reason, season, perdón. Where garbage. Thank you, Vane. Love. Thank you very much. Remember, Vane, try the next time, try speaking, no reading. Try speaking. That way it's more fluency. But good job. Very nice, Vane, for pronunciation. Good job. Who's next, Vane? Thank you. Um, Amanda Menendez. Amanda Menendez. Okay, Amanda. 30 seconds, problem and the solution. You ready? Uh, oh, excuse me, I not say, uh, I, I, I am a little busy in my work. I, I have an emergency. No problem, Amanda. Yeah, Relax. I'm sorry, teacher. It's okay. It's okay, Amanda. Go to work. Go to work. I'm no sorry, problem. but I, I, I can't, I can't participate right now. No problem. Later is no problem. No problem. Okay. Okay. Let's go with yes. Diana Vasquez then. Diana, you ready? Yes. Okay. My seconds. problem is that there are not too many. Hola, Lee. I'm sorry. That there are not many trash containers in my neighborhood. So the trash containers are so far because the cars are walking the entrance, the sidewalk, and even the street. So older people can walk so far because they're painful because it's painful for them. And my solution is to build more parking spots for uh, to be more. I'm sorry, I freaked it's out. Okay, Diana. No, no, no. It's okay. It's, okay. <laughs> it's finished. No problem, Diana. Thirty-three. Good job. Good job, Diana. Thank Diana. you. Good. Who's next, Diana? We have Mario, Lisette, Wendy, and Angelica. Um, Lisette. Okay, Lisette. Lisette Castillo, 30 seconds, problem and the solution. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. In my case, in my neighborhood, there is not garbage uh, collection train. And 
so we need the government plan the solvent the problem and in Avida must request uh, the service only. Look, 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 look the time, look the time, look. Mm. Oh, good job, good job, Lisa. But a little bit longer, more speaking the next time, more speaking, Lisa. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Lisa, who is next? Mario, Wendy, okay. or Angelica? Mario. Mario, okay. Mario Barahona. You ready, Mario? 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 Mario not ready. No? Okay. So who's next? No Mario. We have Wendy or Angelica. Angelica, go ahead. Hello, good evening. Um, there are too many stray animals on the streets in El Salvador. What we should do? Uh, first, we need to spay or neuter our pets. It's it's the best thing we can do to help prevent pet overpopulation. Also, other thing we can do if we want a pet, instead of purchasing from a breeder or pet store, it's to adopt from any animal shelter. Uh, at last, but not least, is to educate our family, community, city, and country. Okay, very nice. Good job and very nice job. Good job. All right. And the last one, Wendy. Good job, Angelica. Good pronunciation and fluency. All right, Wendy, you ready? Yes. Okay. For Wendy. the problem is the <laughs> for the problem for me, the people getting fat is the problem because many people don't eat healthy and don't like to prepare the food. For me, the people should eat fruits, balanced food. It's important to people do a little bit, do exercise. And my recommendation would be to create a weekly diet and always include fruits and many vegetables in the diet. And that's it. That's it, but I put it in Korea. I'm sorry. <laughs> Teacher, oh, sorry, yeah. no, no sé qué pasó en la computadora, se quedó en blanco la pantalla. Oh. Pero ya me ingresé, ¿no? No problem, bro, no problem, sí. Mario. Sí, Cabal, sí, sí, sí. Para Wendy. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Mario. Ready? Okay. 30 seconds. Yeah, sí, ready. Okay, go okay. ahead. Okay, eh, the traffic in San Salvador. There is a lot of traffic in San Salvador. In rush hour, you can... Uh, was two or uh, three hours in traffic because there are too many cars and buses everywhere and unfortunately the streets are too narrow. I think uh, the government should improve the public transportation, for example, subway also will build uh, more in very streets. Very good, Mario, very good. Only two words to pronounce, improve. Improve. Sí, build, build, se me olvidó cómo se. Yes, incorrect. And build. Build, build. okay. But very good, Mario. Only two words. Excellent. Okay. All right. Good job, guys. Okay. Thank very you. good. This is the idea. Remember, the idea is to speak little, but to speak different topics. Now we continue. Okay. Today we continue 2.6. Here we have 2.6. Lisette Castillo, can you please read the objective to help remind us? Okay. Mm. Lesson objective. Mm -hmm. Learn how to ask an in direct direction. 
in English. This lesson practice using indirect question destination. By the end of this class, you will be able to form polit indirect question such as would you know where the nearest ATM is? Can you tell me how often the bus is from? And do you know where I where I do seek information using polite, grammatically correct English? Okay, thank you very much. Here, do you know where? Do you know where I can you know catch? Where? Mm -hmm. The bus, the pronunciation, the bus. The bus. Excellent, thank you, Lisette. So here, we're going to lose three. Could you tell me? Can you tell me? And do you know? These are the three ways to make indirect request. Indirect request Hi, everyone. is a way to say nice questions. This is the idea for indirect request. When you think indirect request is really nice. For example, if I say, Lisette, what time is it? Ah, this is direct. Okay, what time, where, how? This is direct. For example, here, what time? What time does the bank open? But indirect, could you tell me? Do you know? Or can you tell me? We change for making more polite, to be nicer. So we use three, okay? We use, can you tell me? Could you tell me? And we use number three, do you know, okay? Number three. These are the three forms to make indirect. The idea indirect is only to be nice, not to be so not to be so strong, is to be nice. Okay. Here we have the examples. Let's read the examples together. Diana, can you please read WH questions? And Mario Barahona, can you please read the indirect questions? Where is the bank? Where are the restaurants? How often do the bus leave? Do the buses leave? What time does the bank open? When did flight 566 arrive? Thank you. Oh, mm -hmm. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the restrooms are? Can you tell me how often the buses leave? Do you know what time the bank opens? Do you know when five, uh, five, six, six arrive? Okay, very good. Look at the difference. The difference is one, the auxiliary. Look, where is the bank? But indirect, no, where is the bank? Indirect, where the bank is. Direct, where are the restrooms? Indirect where the restrooms are. The verb to be at the end. Did you see? The verb to be at the end. But with auxiliaries, do or did, only eliminate. No move, only disappear. For example, how often do the buses leave? Here, how often the buses leave? No do. Look, what time does the bank open. Indirect, what time the bank opens. No, no does, only the send, only opens. When did flight 566 arrive? Ah, no did when flight 66 arrived. So the auxiliary is disappear, but we put the verb in past or the verb with third person. Okay. For example, here, it's okay. Look at the examples, any questions? Uh, 
it's okay how to make the indirect request? Yes, teach. Yes? Okay. So what are we going to do? We, we are going to practice here. We're going to answer these questions, but to answer these questions, we need to do the listening from here. Okay. So let's listen as to as you can part. see there. And uh, well, let's do the lottery. I Teacher, like we're using the recordado. Al, al audio. Okay. Déjeme ver otra vez. Let me try one more time. <clears throat> Let's see. Which illustrates how this topic is used. ¿Cómo se escucha? And so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to listen to a conversation and we're going to listen to different ¿Se questions. Bien? Bien, yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's Perfect. okay. Okay. Now, tienen que escuchar, listen, and answer the questions in 2.8. So in this moment, we are going to listen. And the information from here, we need for 2.8. One moment. That way you can see. Okay. So here, we need to know. Where is the nearest ATM? How often do the buses run? What other information that Eric asked for? Where's the nearest internet cafe? And how late do the buses run? Rephrase, okay? So let's listen and answer the questions. Is that are asked about a city, your task is to listen carefully and I will ask you questions at the end of the audio program. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or Excuse me, it's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Hmm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Let me present some structure at this time. Okay. It's okay or one more time? It's okay or repeat? Repeat, please. Repeat. Okay, let's listen again. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Hmm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Let me. Okay. Let's check. Number one. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? 
the first. The first, okay. The first. Good, number two. How often do the buses run? Every 20 minutes. Every 20 minutes. Number three. What other information does Eric ask for? The cost of, cost of us city. Okay. And number four. What is the correct way for indirect question? Where's the nearest internet cafe? Could you tell me where the nearest internet cafe is? Is or no is? Is. Is, okay. And how late do the buses run? An indirect question. Do you know how late the buses run? Okay. Let's check. A hey, excellent work. You see, is correct. It's correct. Correct. Good number two and number one. Okay. Any questions? No, teacher. No. Okay. So the idea indirect request is only change the answer. What time is it? When is the exam? When is the vacation? Only for puts. Uh, do you know? Can you tell me? Could you tell me? This is the idea of indirect request. It's okay? No, okay. Could you repeat, please? Yes, Diana. So the idea indirect is for the question for being too nice. So for example, you have three forms. We use the form, can you tell me? Could you tell me? Do you know? This is the obligation in the beginning. For example, Diana, what time is it? Is direct, right? Is direct. Indirect. Can you tell me what time it is? Could you tell me what time it is? Do you know what time it is? This is the indirect. The three correct. Only you select. Can or do you know? Okay. Example, Vanessa, where is Plaza Mundo? Direct, indirect. Do you know where Plaza Mundo is? Can you tell me where Plaza Mundo is? Could you tell me where Plaza Mundo is? The is at the end. It's okay. Teacher, repeat okay. the repeat the third form in, in this example. The three forms. Uh, the first. The uh, first. Can you tell me? Uh, could you tell me? And do you know? Do you know? Just. Bane, remember, it's in the chat. I put in the chat the three forms. Can you tell me? Could you tell me? And do you know? Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the idea for indirect. Is the function, the function is nice. Not for angry, no, nice, okay. That's the idea. Do we have the okay? It's como una, it's como formal form. Just, it's another form. It's a, okay. a different form to ask. Correct, Mario. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mario, can you please read the objective for unit three? Today we begin unit three. Will you English language skills with the lesson on adjectives and nouns? By the end of the class, you will learn how to express your option, opinions about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be 
able to describe your describe your house or apartment in English and use evaluate evaluating phrases such as apartments are too small for pets, houses are too expensive, or houses cost too much money. Okay, so today we're going to describe houses and apartments. Okay, first, do you live in a house or an apartment? In a house. In a house. I live in a house. In a house. And the others? House? I live in an apartment. House. Diana in an apartment. Yes. Okay, Diana in an apartment. In a house. In, in a house. house. In a house. Okay. It's common. It's more common in El Salvador, a house. But now, now is more and more apartments. Before, only a few apartments. And now more and more and more apartments. So today we're going to describe your apartment or your house. We are going to use adjectives. Describe the apartments. For example, here, we are going to say the topic, apartment, houses, the different places. Okay. And then we are going to use the verb to be, are or aren't. Okay. So, for example, for me, for me, apartments, apartments are beautiful. It's relaxing. Apartments are very nice. Okay. Or in the negative, maybe for you, apartments aren't very nice. There are two forms to describe, positive or negative. And the adjective, nice, big, beautiful, pretty, sunny, roomy, spacious, is at the end. We put at the end of the sentence. For example, here, we put apartments, are, aren't, and then the adjective, okay? So, hi, everyone. Here we have apartments and houses we see the picture ah here normally the people imagine small apartments and they imagine big houses or spacious houses okay this is normally the idea we use the different words to describe the apartments are or aren't or we can use with do or don't Okay, for example, in El Salvador is normal, apartment, uh, houses, houses don't. Normally, houses in El Salvador don't have swimming pools. Or yes, o tienen piscina en su casa. Apartments don't have swimming pools. Correct? But in many apartments, ah, for example, apartments have gyms. Many apartments have gym. It's okay. So we can use do or does or have for the things. Gym, swimming pool, parking, we use are or aren't for the description. Pretty, beautiful, nice, a white, okay? It's okay the difference. When is the verb to be? And when we use don't or have? Remember, adjectives, verb to be. Nouns, we use don't or have. So in this moment, you are going to imagine 
your your house, your dream house, oh, my fantasy, <gasps> my fantasy house or apartment, okay? My house is in the mountain, in the beach. My house is in Lake Cuatepeque. My house is in, you imagine and describe your house. My house, my apartment has three bedrooms. It has two bathrooms, okay? It is very big. It is beautiful. It has a garage or parking for three cars and two motorcycles, one bicycle. Yeah. Para mantener saludable. <laughs> it's okay, the activity? In this moment, you imagine, imagine the beautiful house for you and you describe with your partner has or is or doesn't have. Example, my house doesn't have, doesn't have noise for the buses. My house doesn't have discotheques in the area or bars, no chupaderos in my house. No, 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 no. My house is beautiful. It's okay or any questions? It's okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay? Okay. Now look at the vocabulary before we begin. We have some vocabulary. For example, we have the word spacious, comfortable, big. It's okay, spacious. Do you understand spacious? Eh, como grande, espacios. Exactly. It's, it's like very, very it's like very big, correct. And comfortable, it's okay, comfortable? Comoda? Yes, 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 correct. Now you describe your apartment, your house in positive or negative. Has, doesn't have, is, isn't, are, aren't, okay? So with the partners, we describe our houses. Your, imagine your dream house. Okay. No? Okay. I see we have a little problem, it's okay. We try again, no problem.
Okay. So, how do you imagine? How do you imagine the dream house? The volunteer? In the forest. Tell me, Mario. Uh, has okay. four rooms, spacious and from comfortable. Uh, my house doesn't have pollution. Doesn't have noise of public transportation. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. Excellent. <laughs> and Mario, in your house, has a swimming pool, a jacuzzi, a sauna. <laughs> El mantenimiento muy caro, ¿no? <laughs> Excellent, Mario. Thank you so much, Mario. Thank you. Correct. Very good. The next volunteer. Me. Please. I think I'm a city dealer. I am more a city person. My dream house is actually in a small apartment in a beautiful building near to the mall. Where like multiplaza. The, the... Yes, like yes. multiplaza. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for the supermarket to be near for my house. <laughs> it will be more comfortable. Like if I could work, could go shopping with in short, <laughs> just like. I'm around my house <laughs> and not too big. My house, I wouldn't like to be too big. I wouldn't like to be, I would, yeah, I wouldn't like to be in a small house and a small living room and maximum three bedroom. Maximum. For the business, for me. Yes, a single person apartment. Uh, it's uh -huh. for the cleaning. Yeah. It's for the cleaning, right, Diana? It's for yes. the, uh -huh. <laughs> it's also for the cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> good, good. Thank you, Diana. Excellent. And the next, the volunteer, the dream house. Me, teacher. Me. Okay, Eric, go ahead. And um, my dream house, teacher, uh, is a small house in the country. Um, uh, my house must have a lot of nature. Uh, uh, I have a um, soccer field. Must have a three bedroom and a small pool. Uh, and I, that my mother lives there. Only that. Okay. It's not a small house. Have a soccer field. It's no small, Eric. It's no, a uh, it's, it's small uh, soccer field. Uh, <laughs> only like a fetalon, huh? Like <laughs> <laughs> este, more small. Smaller. Okay. Okay. Small. Good. Thank you, Eric. Excellent. Who's next? Who's next? Me, teacher. Okay, Vane. Okay. My dream place to live is near the sea. I love the song of the waves. Um, when I wake, wake up, I heard the song of the... Uh, I don't know, no, no sé cómo se dice gaviotas, sea, sea eagles, sea eagles. Seagulls. Seagulls, okay. I want to, I want a two store, story house with four bedroom, a spacious living room that includes a swimming pool. Mm. In the swimming pool, inside the house, Vane, or outside? In the house. In the house. Wow. It's not a small house, man. A nice, nice house. Thank <laughs> you. Very nice. Excellent. Excellent. More volunteers?
Okay. No more volunteers. Then let's continue. The last activity for today is listening. We are going to listen and answer the questions. Here we have four questions. Listen from 3.1, okay? We're going to listen from 3.1 and answer the questions. One more. Okay. We're gonna talk about making evaluation. What I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me present some structure now. Okay, one more time. Remember, listen and answer. Listen and answer for the audio, not for your opinion, for the audio. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Okay, let me, let's check. Number one, apartments. In my opinion, houses are just as expensive as apartment in my neighborhood. Okay, okay, thank you. But for the answer to answer number one from the audio, what do they say, apartments? Are too uh, small for pets. Are too small for pets. Okay. And the, what do they say about the apartments? Which one is correct for, the, for their opinion? For number two. Apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. Okay. And number three. Apartments don't Apartment have don't enough have. privacy. Privacy. Okay. Privacy. Privacy. Okay. And number four. Apartments, Apartments don't, don't have, have enough no space. space. Enough space. No space. Okay. Hey, very good. Number four is correct. Number three is correct. Number two and number one is Excellent, excellent, excellent. Tomorrow we continue practice more speaking and describing the houses, apartments, and different places and use new vocabulary. Okay. Great teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. Thank you so much for connecting. Have a nice okay. night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night teacher. Bye-bye.